operation division. Division can be described as a process process of determining determining how many times how many times one number is contained in another number So it seems like it's quite a complicated definition, but this is just about how many times one number is contained in another number. For example, uh, 8 divided by 2, because we can write 8 is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 2 and plus 2 four times that's why 2 is contained in 8 four times so result is 4 and uh, in this case 8 is called dividend is called divisor and 4 is called quotient another example is 24 divided by 6 and because 24 can be written as 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 here it will be 12 this will be 18 and this will be 24 uh, that's why 6 is contained in 24 four times and the result is 4 next let's have an example of division 28 divided by 7 which is equal to 4 and in this case the quotient 4 is the whole number and sometimes um, quotient is not whole number uh, assume an example um, 19 divided by 5 because if uh, we have 5 one time it will be 5 5 two times will be 10, 3 times will be 15, and 4 times is already 20, where 19 is somewhere here. That's why uh, 5 is contained in 19 3 times. And we write 3, five, three times 5, which is 15. and plus 4 and 4 is called the remainder um, but if quotient is the whole number and as in this example and 7 um, divide 28 and the result is whole number in this case uh, we have we can say that 28 is multiple of 7 and 7 
is a divisor of 28. Because 4, because 4 here is a whole number. That's why, once again, 28 is multiple of 7, and 7 is a divisor of 28. Uh, next, let's talk about operation of raising a number to a power. For example, if we have uh, some number a and rising to a power, some number n, uh, here um, n is called exponent and a is called base. And assume we have result b and in this case b is called power. Um, how this operation, rising a number to a power, is defined? We can, for easy explanation, define it as several multiplication. For example, 2 on a power of 3 is multiplication several times. And exactly 3 times. Three times. So once again, rising a number to a power, uh, assume the power is the whole number. In this case, this is uh, about multiplication of two to itself, and it's done three times, and the result will be eight. Another example is three, and the power of four is three times three times 3, times 3, and it's done 4 times. And the result will be 81. If we talk about, uh, if n is, equals, is equal to 2, then uh, 2 is called square, so a squared. And if uh, n is equal to 3, this is cube. This is called cube and a cubed. And once again, uh, everyone, everyone must remember that a on the power of 1 is again, again a. And a on the power of 0 is 1. And we will talk about maybe later when we better understand mathematics because at this stage this is only a definition of the operations mathematical of arithmetic operations let's uh, further talk about root of the number say we have a root of the number a uh, and root also has a power say n and how to calculate uh, for example, square root of 4, we also write it without this number 2, just square root of 4. Um, third root of 27, third root of 8, fifth root of 32. How to calculate all of these examples? Um, let's move to the definition. I will define it informally, just for better understanding. Um, for example, third root of 8 is 2. Why? Because if we multiply 2 to itself, and we take, for this multiplication, 2 3 times, Three times because the power is 3 so 2 multiplied to itself and we take 2 3 times uh, the num answer is 2 because exactly 2 is multiplied to itself 
once again for example fifth root of 32 is also 2 because we have to multiply 2 to itself and we have to take 2 5 times why 5 times because the power of the root is 5 and what number we took and multiplied to itself we took it five times to receive 32 what number this number is two along the same line any square root can be calculated for example third root of eight is two we already know it and sorry third root of 27 is 3 because we have to multiply 3 to itself and take t 3 exactly 3 times to receive 27 um, it's important to understand that um, root of the number is an opposite operation to rising to the power for example if we have 2 and by rising to the power 3 we have we have 8 then opposite operation is third root of 8 will bring your 8 to the initial point 2 this was um, an understanding of the root of the number Further, we will solve more complicated problems to better understand this topic. It was just a definition and understanding of basic arithmetic operation. It was everything I wanted to talk about for today. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.